Hello. Oh, this chair is not going to work. Hang on, you guys. I don't know how I got up. Remember? Whoa. Oh, pretty cool. Hey, okay. I am finally ready. Just had a malfunction. Not wardrobe, but my eye, something, I moved my hair, then some of my makeup fell in my eye because I wear hard contacts and anything that gets in my eye, just whoa, right there. Especially if I go for a walk on the beach. Never go on windy days because if that sand gets under my eye, it's like glass. It's like whoa. And I have to take it out right away. So, makeup on this eye is pretty good and pretty bad. This is where it all happened. Not good. But you know what? This is a channel where I don't judge, you don't judge. We're just here to have a good time. And today we're going to drink, or I'm going to drink. I don't know what you're going to drink, but if you want me to know, put it in my comments. We're going to have the Arnie. Arnold Palmer. He it was a great golfer back in the day and he made his own half iced tea, half lemonade. This is zero calorie wise. I don't drink a lot of iced tea. I should. It's good for you. Just, you know, the home brewed kind. But I had I had actually I had a coupon for this, so I you know, I had to get it. So we're gonna put this in the little cute owl mug. Cause we are all animal lovers, right? Right, right. Nice and nice and cold. So did you guys get full of uh, onion rings and deep fried pickles yesterday? Oh, I have to admit, you know, I kept my, my batter and stuff and I did make a couple more at the end of the night. I just needed a little snack before I went to bed, but that kept me full all day long. Kept me going. Also, this is a sweater I bought in my size like years ago and then I washed it and it kind of grew like two feet. So my sleeves are like this, but I don't think I can cook like that. Oh yeah, and the, the leggings, them are a little wild, but you know, they're comfy and I'm just in my house. I don't know if I'd wear them out because, and you know what? I don't know if these are even going to stay up. So before we get cooking, oh, what we're cooking today, uh, let's see, what, who, 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 oh yeah, Caleb, this is, video cooking show is for you but for everybody else but because I know y'all love spaghetti but he goes spaghetti is my favorite thing so it's your lucky day it's everybody's lucky day who loves spaghetti and you know what I think I'm gonna have a time with these already so just grab some scrunchies maybe that'll keep them up I like my cuff oh, yeah much better otherwise I'll be Driving you guys nuts, pushing them up all the time. So, okay. So that's the story of my oversized sweater. You know me, I don't want to give it away because it is really comfy. And, but I couldn't wear it for a dress in the back because it goes down, but not the front. Even, I guess, it, you know, I guess I could wear black leggings. But anyway, cheers. Cheers to everybody. And I hope you guys, too, are going through, if you got, like, a mug collection or a glass collection or whatever, do something different every day because it is kind of fun. I do. I wish, first of all, I wish they could have owls as pets. That would be fun. They're so cool. Just quiet. I think they're quiet. Just checking out my window to see what's happening on there outside by my little grocery store. Okay, so... We're going to make homemade spaghetti my style, which is, you know, quick, easy, just easy. Just, you know, I, I don't follow a recipe. I, you know, listen to other people's. I used to just get it out of the jar. And that's okay, but and then it's like, I know I need to step it up. I really think I need to step it up. So we're going to add a bunch, a bunch of this stuff. I don't know if you guys can all see my ingredients, but oh! Here's our hamburger buns from the other day. You know, I like to reuse things before they go bad. In fact, you could always freeze these in the microwave when you take them out. But I figure, you know, we got our hamburger that we had the other day that we need to use. So, let me just put that there. So, what, what is, this is the day to make uh, our sauce. Because I, I put hamburger in mine. I put the hamburger. I put onions bell peppers these already these are already cut up too from the bruschetta i kept them so i've just put them in with my peppers you know i'm just everything about saving i got my parmesan which is the most important thing of a spaghetti sauce 
And well, I guess we're actually not making spaghetti spaghetti. We, and then I, I just found these. Oh, I'll show you what we're going to do with these later. It has to do with garlic bread because I don't have garlic bread. So we're going to try something different. But I, I just, I guess these have been out for a while. The Protein Plus pasta. I'm like, oh. Let me see. I got to get my glasses on because it does. What? Oh, it says on here maybe. 17 grams of protein. That is a lot. I didn't know that. And so we are trying. I don't even know how to say that. Fafali. Fafal. I guess whatever nationality is, that's how you would pronounce it. But they're cute little bows. So I wanted to try them because I saw that Pioneer Woman. Those are her favorite shapes of pasta. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to try them. So we probably should get our water boiling and get our at least our pasta done. And once again, I'm not going to make a whole lot. To, I'm just going to make enough probably for a couple servings um, because tomorrow I'm going to, you know, it's Trisha's big birthday. I can't wait. I can't wait. Oh, my gosh, there's so much going on, and I will tell you all about it. Um, I got... My dress getting altered last um, last night. Michael Philpot, Trisha's designer, came over and fitted it to my body. So so excited now about that. Okay, got my pasta water going, you guys, and I'm I got to do it all the way up to high to get it to boil. Okay, just so you know what I'm up to. So yeah, he he's gonna have it. There, he's gonna stop by Trisha's tomorrow. I'm gonna to go over there, but I am gonna do um, something good. It's um, not an elaborate cooking thing I'm gonna do, but it's something I love, one of my favorites. And then I have to get on the road to Hollywood. That's tomorrow, but I wanna chat with you guys a couple minutes tomorrow, you know, see what's going on. I read your comments and you guys um, inform me too of what's going on. And I, oh, there was, oh, first of all, I, I know I told you guys I have notes. And you know what? And it's okay. It's okay because, you know, even the big celebrities, when Trish and I were on the Tyra Banks show way back when, she would have her own notes in her lap on the couch. So it's like, you know, everybody's got notes, right? Even the uh, news people, they have their laptops, they're going through it. Some, you know, who used to. Jillian Barber, do you guys remember her? She's still out there. I think she's on the radio, but she used to be on the Channel 11 News, the Fox News with Steve Edwards, which he has been here since I was here back in the 80s in California. And he, I think he's still on. I'm not for sure. Maybe he's retired now. I have, because I haven't watched that uh, since Jillian went off. But um, she'd be online. You know, he'd be talking. She'd be on her phone looking at the tweets. And I thought, what a job. That would be great. Like, why she's not there, I don't know, but. Jillian, I loved you. You were who you were, right? Okay, so we got the water boiling. Now, you know what? And I don't know why. Probably somebody will tell me why, but it don't matter. Because somebody said, do salt in your water. I suppose maybe they don't stick together or anything. Because one thing I don't do, I don't rinse my noodles anymore. I used to. Because my mom did, not that she made spaghetti a lot, but then I heard, and then I seen that people don't rinse them, so I'm like, oh, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with not rinsing them, but you know, I got to get a strainer out for the little noodles. Ooh, these are the limes from the margarita. But I will probably be having enough tomorrow to drink, so tomorrow night. But okay, so that's my little strainer. Just put that over there for now. Now we're going to get going. Did I, did I say everything that I want? Oh, that, oh, I know. Her name's Kayla Rose. She goes, I didn't deep fry with you yesterday, but I did cook with you. I'm like, that's that's real, that's cute. But she didn't tell me what she cooked. So let me know what you cook. Let me know what you guys cook. You don't have to cook what I cook, but as long as you're cooking with me, that's pretty cool. Let me know if you sit down now while you cook. Maybe I just started a new trend. I don't know. You know? Alrighty, so what's great about the things we bought for bruschetta is pretty much what we're going to use for our meat sauce. But 
I'm going to put this over here so you guys can see. I'm going to put that on low because, let me just put that over here. We don't want to burn the garlic. That's right. That's right. Good job, you guys. All right, so let's get a couple cloves out. Ooh, one, two. Yeah, two, two's good. Don't want to overdo it. Don't want to overdo the onions either today because I'm going to be around people tomorrow. want to have a little fresh breath going on. Oh, what did I do? Oh, I did my oh. Okay, so once again, got our pan heating up. My favorite pan also. You know, I had kept my oil in it, and uh, I got to put my oil on. I used it today, so I'm, I'm going to toss it. But I didn't want to know what to do to put in the garbage can because I needed a can. So here's what I put it in until I get a can, which I'm going to get today because we're going to do our tomatoes out of a can. And then I'm going to dump it in there. But this is all I had. That's so sad. I had to put it in the Hello Kitty container. This is when Trisha, Trisha and I went to um, a movie. And we got Hello Kitty popcorn things and I'll reuse it. I'll clean it, though, after I dump it. But I thought, okay, that's all I have. That's kind of like, you know, I, I want to wash my car. Wash. Wash is Midwest, yes. I will say that probably till the day I am here on this earth. But uh, where I live now, they have a, a water hose here. And I have a little Fiat, so it's like, I could wash my car in, like, two minutes, right? But I don't have a bucket. I'm like, like, I never go to Target to get a bucket. I need to do that. I need to go pay my Target bill now that I'm talking about it. Uh, comes up so fast. Kind of like rent. Comes up fast every month. Okay, so we're going to dice these. You know, that's getting... Oh, that's getting warmed up there. So, we're going to put... Let's put our uh, oil in. Now, I'm going to put a little bit more oil in because... I don't have uh, my own garlic powder to put because I'm going to make these be like a garlic toast. Only it's going to be a garlic bun, and I'm going to top brown them too. But um, I'm going to try this. I'm going to put a little more of this in with the garlic and then soak up it for my bun. I don't know if that's going to work. I don't know, but um, probably two tablespoons. Not that I'm going to have. It eight pieces of garlic toast, but uh, I'm going to try it. That way I don't have to run out and get another seasoning. I do have a lot of seasonings, but I'm not going to do that. Who else was I going to? Um, oh, Sue's Journey. She said I she reminded her of Goldie Hawn. I'm like, oh, I wish. I always thought... Goldie Hawn was beautiful. Well, she still is. I mean, at her age, and I thought her and Kurt Russell made just the ideal Hollywood couple. He, he was always in those Disney movies. And then he, was, he was in one of uh, Quentin Tarantino's movies, too, I think. What was that called? Uh, Death Trap or something. Which was such a different role for him, I thought. From what I've seen him, I don't know. I didn't follow his career, but... I just remember him from that movie, the monkey movie on Disney. Nutty Professor, maybe? I, no, I don't know what it was. But he was only like eight. Okay, so our water is boiling. Woohoo! Put my farfelli, farfelli noodles in. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I know somebody's going to say, oh my gosh, you butchered that. I'm like, yeah. I butcher a lot of things. So, you know, you be the judge. I always just, I always make more pasta than what I need. So, okay. I did. I did about a half a box. Make sure your water, too, is about an inch above your pasta, and then it won't dry out. Oh, that's not a rule. That's just what I, I figure. Okay, um... This is it's a good exercise to stretch, but this is just what I'm going to stir my noodles with. 
Okay? Alrighty. Now let's get our garlic going. And sometimes when you chop into the garlic, you find that you missed a little sliver of the paper. So just throw it, throw it away. Throw it away. I feel in cooking, you can't make any mistakes. If you're cooking for you, cooking for anybody, if you're cooking for somebody, they should be thankful that you have thought about enough about them to make them a home made dinner or lunch. But then there is that show, Worst Cooks in America, that I guess nobody's ever cooked in their life. I could be on there, but I'm a pretty good cook. I just don't have a wide range of like, oh, let's turn that noodle stuff down. Uh, I just don't have a wide, wide range of like seasonings of what they taste like. Even like thyme. Now I got, I got my thyme out today that I bought. I've got it draining on the towel. Thought I better use it. I don't know how to use it, so we're going to kind of go at that one together when the time comes. Finely chopped. I'm always amazed too at how those chefs they do that the little chopping thing. They like get your uncles under. I can never do that. I should go to chef school. Well, probably not too old to go to chef school. I'm too old to go to college. But anyway, okay. Now it's getting nice and warm. I'm going to try my experiment, okay? I'm going to get a, a hamburger bun out. And this is good. You could do that. Oh, you know, I got French bread left over, too. From, you could use that. Oh, that would have been good. Oh, you know what? It is right here, you guys. By the way, this, yes, a lot of you have been commenting. You have seen the Little Shop of Horrors plant. So I thought I'd just bring it in the kitchen today. Yep. Thought I would. Let's, um, let's cut a little... A little bit of this too. Let's, this is a, like a leftovers cooking thing today. But before I cut that, I am going to put my garlic in here. Okay, there we go. Can you guys see that? Just a little bit. A little bit will do us. So, let me, I'm going to cut, this is actually a different one. This is, I got free off my Monopoly games I've been playing. And, you know, although you may not win the big part of it, you can get a lot of free stuff. I mean, I had like three French loaves bread I can get. I haven't cashed them all in, but um, it's a little tough. But this will cook up. Whoa. Okay. You know, I probably should put this in a... Glad wrap or aluminum foil when it gets so hard. Oh well. Next time we'll do that. Okay, so I'm going to butter these. And then I'm going to dip them in the olive oil sauce. Because you know what I'm going to have to have to when I top brown it is a little pan. Now if it was just me, I've never had this pan until about a week ago, maybe two weeks ago. I found it right and uh, I'd always make my sauce in this little pan but I don't have to anymore this is my go-to pan right okay so we're gonna butter one side of this and what because what I would do if I had uh, garlic salt or garlic powder I would I would sprinkle it on there too because you could also buy it already made. Albertsons, I think, had that already made the garlic spread. Then that was really good. So, I don't need all the spread, but. Okay. So, we buttered it just kind of like we did our prosciutto bread the other day. Butter it. And that's good. Okay, st don't forget, I just stir my noodles around a little bit. And then, probably going to need something bigger to stir this with. But, our onion, or our onions, they're looking pretty good, you guys. Getting there. 
So let me just get this to stir because we're going to have quite a lot. Hang on. Can't see you guys. Oh, it scares me when it's on the middle. And we're good. Good to go. So we're doing that. And what I'm going to do, I will heat up my rear rear one because my pasta is almost done, right? And I'm just going to put these in here for now. I don't know if I want to warm them up yet because we got a ways to go for our spaghetti sauce. So I'm just going to put them in there now. And that's all the cutting I need to do. So let me get rid of that. This. Part of my back, you guys. Yep. If you notice, the clip that oh, my hair is too short to get all the way around, so that's why I got that clip stuck in the middle. Just thought I'd share that with you. Okay, so the next thing I want to do. Oh, yeah, you know what? This is what we're going to do. We're going to dip it in here. Cause see all the, the little excess oil in that? It's all sliding down, but I'm going to do this. Oh, that might work, you guys. Look. I'm just going to let that sit over there. I didn't do too much, so it's not going to really soak in a whole lot. But, ooh, look at that. That looks... I think that might work. I, I just thought of that today. So proud of myself sometimes. I shouldn't... Oh, see? Make your own homemade garlic bread. That's pretty cool. All right. And we'll let that sit for a little bit. Now I am going to add in... I always put in onions and green peppers in my sauce because I never find it in the sauces at the store. So once again, it's up to your discretion. It's a good way to get a couple of veggies in my system. I'm like Trisha. I'm not a real veggie veggie person, more so than her, but uh, see how pretty it's going to look? So we just do that all around. And this is still on a, a low to medium heat. I, I do like a little crunch in my veggies too. But yeah, Trisha is not the queen of veggies. She needs to do a, I'm going to sit down and try every vegetable. She should do that. She does like corn. I made a corn and green beans. That's what we ate. Corn and green beans. and So, but you know, I've learned to like asparagus. Oh, I've got this asparagus tart coming up. I, that I, wanna, I saw a recipe for it. I want to make it. It's with a puff pastry that I've never, I've never worked with puff pastry so I'm kind of excited about that. I've got so, so much so much to make you guys and new things and you know what I am a casserole person. People out here are like casseroles oh what and some will go what's a casserole oh my god we lived off casserole tuna noodle casserole oh the bomb my mom she made it and now I'm going to make that one day but because I saw Valerie Bertinelli made her homemade sauce the mushroom and everything I am so going to do that. It's a good way. if you. I like tuna, but I get tired of it, like in tuna sandwiches. But So it's a good way to incorporate tuna. Tuna. Okay, I think we got to stop these uh, noodles. And I'm just going to put them in this little, little, I hope they all fit. I don't know. They probably won't, but I'm going to do this over the sink. Sorry, guys. Can't do that in front of you. And I set my strainer in the sink so I don't burn myself. Oh, that's, oh, they're so cute. They, it's a good thing just to have these because they're really cute, you guys. I'll show you. Hang on. Okay. It's on my foil and voila. Look at how cute those are. See, you're cooking. Trisha could even follow this. She doesn't cook a lot. Can do breakfast, but there's our sizzling away. You can see there. So you can see the garlic's not overcooked, nor the onions. So now, don't need this. Just want to make sure I get all my ingredients in. Okay. All right. So now we're going for the hamburger. You can put in as little or as much as you want this foil side down and I probably have three-fourths of a pound well sorry my note came down uh, three-fourths of, of a probably hamburger left 
I probably, I don't, I don't know. Let me just see. I can start putting that in too. I don't want to get the hamburger on my ring. My crocodile. Oh. Could have wore this if I went to see the Goblins Gala. Okay, so, oh, you know, I should make it all. Another thing, too, if you make this all and you find that you don't have enough of the um, peppers or onions, what I have done, sorry, is also uh, redo it again, like if I heat it up, and just put more in. Just start again, do the um, garlic and peppers, and then add some of the mixture that I've already made. So I am, I'm going to add all this because my hamburger might be going bad in the next two to three days, so. Washing the burger meat off. Oh, yeah. Okay, so. For all you salt and pepper people, we will do that for you guys. I would not normally do this, but you guys probably got me hooked on doing it for the seasonings, because sometimes I feel... God, if I would have knocked that over, that would not have been good. <sighs> I need some iced tea. Okay, so we got that little seasoning in. And you know what else? Would I put on my meat uh, right away, too? I will add the oregano. Let me flip that, though, first. It is sizzling away. Okay, so I, I do put oregano in my chili. You know, I, I love oregano. I don't know if it's really supposed to go in there, but on pizza, I don't care. I love it. I'm adding it. I'm doing basil just to dry today because I used all my basil plant. But if you guys have your basil left over from bruschetta, oh my gosh, cut that up. I'll put that in there. That that would be great. I should add another plant. And then a little of my Italian herbs. I don't go so crazy like I do on my bruschetta because what I am going to add to this are diced tomatoes, but they already have basil, garlic, and oregano in them too. Oh, no salt added. I never get the no salt added, but hey, that's okay too. I'm going to put that in. I'm going to put a paste in. Actually, I got, I got two of these, but I'm probably only going to do one. And actually, happy, it's National Nurses Day. Love all you nurses out there, and especially those who took care of me when I, you know, had my cancer at UCLA. I love you guys. You are just, just so precious to have that as your profession. And I wished I, I could have been a nurse, but I, I, don't, I couldn't look at blood, you know. But in hindsight, you know, I think I could have learned. Because it is, it is just so great to, I felt so taken care of by perfect strangers. And, you know, now I, I go to Kaiser, and they are also great. I mean, how do you all are in such a good mood every day? It's like, you guys got found your calling for sure. So anyway, shout out to you nurses. A, and you celebrate all week. You should celebrate all year because what you do is amazing. And now onto the feet. Is this going to work or not? I don't have an electric can opener. Probably should. Oh, I hear you guys. Oh, yeah. I hear you. I hear you screaming. You're like, you forgot the time. Oh, my gosh. That, yeah, I did. I did. We're going to try it. I'm not even for sure. Yeah, it's, it smells Italian. And I don't even know, like, do you pull them off? I think it's one of the herbs, you pull them off the stem. Is that this one? Because I don't think I want the stem. Let me get off the bundle. Oh, that's a rubber band. I think I saw this, but I'm not for sure if it was thyme or rosemary. But I don't think I want that straw stuff. Let's, let's get it to the side. Let's just kind of pull them off. Oh, by the way, I... Got my nails done. I feel like a new woman. My nails and my toes, I got whacked. Mustache, eyebrows, chin. Must be looking pretty good to you guys today, huh? 
put myself together. I want to look a little presentable, I guess, at Trisha's party, so she's not, so she's proud of me, right? I don't know, it's a lot of work for a little time, but maybe you'll just need a little time. Just need a little time with your time. Does that smell pretty good, though? See it? Well, you know, maybe because I pull leaves off on my basil. Maybe you do the same thing. I don't know. We better just let it go at that. Let's pull a couple off the top. I'd find the le little leaves around the top. <laughs> and then when you when you had enough, it's like, fine, I'm just going to pull, pull them off. Voila. Okay. Woo. Where am I going to go with that one? We'll just set that one there. My hands smell like time, but it's my new perfume. Okay, so I think that was looking pretty good. I want to get all the red out of your meat, so I don't like raw meat. You know, some people, I guess, eat raw hamburger. I always thought that was not good for you or that you would get worms is what I heard. That's probably not for sure. But, I don't know. I don't know how they do it. Just like people who drink raw eggs. Hulk Hogan, he would do like a blender, just a raw egg. I'm like, oh, okay. I don't, I get, it is protein, but I don't know. It has, to be cooked. it has to be cooked a little bit for me. Right? All right. So, we are almost down to our last ingredients to add to this. You know, I think this is a left-hander's mug. Because I'm right-handed, and look, if I drink like this, oh, you know what? See, I'm always thinking you guys. I always want you to see, but I guess if I drink it, see, it is right. It is the right way. But for you, it's all about the visionary. Okay, you guys, here we go. Put it off long enough. We, we may not have any of this today. I don't know. It's, there's just something not right about it. This. Okay, I've got another one. Let me see. Let me try this one. This one's just as bad. I might have to stand up for this. But, okay. You know what? If I get one open, at least I want the tomatoes open. Let's do that one. Cause, see? It's just so... Uh, you know what? And I know electric can openers are, are like... 10 bucks. Oh. I had it. I really had it, you guys. I should have opened one ahead of time. But luckily, my meat's not done yet. Oh. Please go. I need, oh. Wow. That's a lot of work. I do need to do that investment into my can opener. I, oh, ah, it worked, you guys. I'm so, so happy. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Hmm. Shouldn't have to be that hard. I had one years back. I don't remember it being that hard. Not at all. Oh, and you know, I'm not going to put the sauce in. This is, um, you can put sauce in if you're not going to use a store brand. So I'm not going to put this in. I'm just going to use my four cheese sauce, which is my favorite. I don't know. I, you know me. I love cheese. Love it. So I'm going to put that in. Oh, I did it. I am so proud of myself, but you know what? When I make chili, I need to get to open it ahead of time. Because if I don't get them open, I will cry. Oh, my God. I will really, really cry. Okay, so uh, I'm only putting one a diced in, so I'm going to put that over there. And our last two little ingredients are right here. Mm. All right, how's our meat looking? Okay, it's looking really good. I'm going to turn it up just a hair. Sometimes I sing. Let's see, what else? Did I cover all the people that I wanted to say thank you to that I look for your comments for? And let's see what else. The thing about the time, too, and I don't know if I did it right, 
but it's like even if I have some of those stems in there, which I don't know, it's probably not what you do, but it's like, what you know, I'd be like, I'm on Naked and Afraid, like they, they eat everything, I'm sure they eat twigs and all that stuff, so that's why I figure you can never go wrong in the kitchen, because the people that are out scouring for food and being naked, first of all, and I've only really watched a half a show years back, too, but it's like, mm-mm-mm. I'm going to drain this, you guys, real quick, out of the excess grease, which you notice there isn't a lot if you use that 93% lean, leanness. Okay, so, just start dumping, well, preferably not on you guys, watch your clothes, but, you know, they're washable. They are washable. Okay. Then I I didn't, don't not gonna add all the tomato paste. I like the flavor of it. I really not. I, I suppose it thickens it. I don't know. I just use it because I like it. It smells really tomatoey. Oh. Okay. So at this point, you guys, I have this on medium. Mm. Oh, yeah. And you know what? You could use this right now as your sauce. See, that's meaty if you just like chunky sauce sitting on top of your pasta. I've done that already. I have done that already. So, I don't want to put a whole lot. What did I do with that? Oh, a uh, whole lot of this in. But I do put a little in because it has other herbs probably that I don't have in already. And... I like mine a little chunky, so I'm not going to put a whole lot in. But this is what I'm going to add to mine. And then, you guys, we are almost ready to eat, which is our favorite thing. is why we cook. Ah. Okay, so. Oh, I know. We were talking about my bucket list, too. Another thing that's on it, when I write it, would be if somebody on the Food Network said, Oh, would you like to be a guest on my show and eat my food? I'd be like, yeah, right here, Pioneer Woman, right here, Nancy Fuller. And I would say Giada, but she doesn't do shows anymore. I think she she quit the Food Network, doing her own thing. I know it has to do with food, so good luck to her. But, yeah, I would. Oh, that would be so fun. That would top, top on my bucket list, too. Everything I have on my bucket list in my head is on the top. Because I really would like to do that. I just think I said, oh, and it's also Guy Fieri, right here. I just, and I met you, if you are watching, ah, sure he is. Um, at the airport, when I was still working at Wolfgang Pucks, you came in with your little entourage and your son. You guys were going on to Mexico and fishing. I think you were having a men's outing. But thank you for being so nice. And you are my, you are my top background setting. I love your outdoor yard. Your grill, everything you got out there, that Rick's Donut pizza thing. I'm not for sure how you say that. I love that. That is so cool. That is one thing I like, you know, the the background settings. Like, mine is not cool. Like, if I was like Giada, I'd have, she has, like, the ocean in the background. And I'm like, it looks beautiful. Or a little Italy. I'm like, oh, I don't have that. So I try it. So, so I bring my plant to make it more appeasable. Okay, you guys, now we are getting there. So our, our little drenched, oh, they're, they're okay yet. They have not soaked through, as some of you may think. So let, we're just going to get that top brown. Whoa, this is cooking out of control, so let's go back down to low. And no, I am not Italian, because I know the good Italian cooks, they let their uh, pasta sauce uh, the tomato sauce simmer for hours. Not me. I got to eat it. I, I got to eat it. S sorry. That's how I roll. Because I see it and I eat it. Okay, so this is getting warm. I'm just going to put that on medium. And then we're ready to plate up. I'm so excited. <laughs> Let's see what else do I want to talk about. Let's see. 
I also like, um, speaking of Food Network, I like uh, Duff Goldman. And, okay, he used to have the Ace of Cakes uh, show. And I thought, gosh, the art history in those cakes. And I just recently saw he was doing cakes out here. And I'm like, Jesus, he has to carry them, transport them all the way out here. And now he's got his own little uh, cake store out here. I think it's called Charm City Cakes or something. It's in West, it's Hollywood or West Hollywood. And so he doesn't do Ace of Cakes anymore. I didn't know that. I'm like, but the, he's done, uh, he did an Avengers cake the other day. It was, it's huge. I mean, what they do is so artful. And a lot of mechanical stuff too goes on in there. I'm like, wow, that's a lot. Or the little details that his, um, the people that are employed by him. It's so intricate. It's just crazy. I wish I could, I'm not artful so I'm not artistic but I am amazed at what they do love that could be on your show too there stuff he does the baking championships too with Valerie Bertinelli which I like they're uh, good together I think they do the the children's ones and they're really good with the kids and those kids are amazing too some are only nine years old and they're just know how to bake it up because I don't think they can have like a recipe right beside them but maybe you know they go in Kind of knowing, but they must have been baking a lot most of their lives. There's our sizzle for our bread. But he's out here now, so, oh, he, in fact, I was going to tell Trisha this, but I'll tell her now. He did a cake for Donnie and Marie. I, don't, I guess it was their, oh no, not him, Vegas Cakes. There's a Vegas Cake show now, and they did the cake for Donnie and Marie's 1500th show and they've been there like 10 years now at the flamingo in las vegas great show you guys i mean i am a i am a donny osmond fan too so every time we go you know trish and i go she took jason too just recently but and he got he got to go up on stage and dance with marie because they pick somebody out you know every night they have their show to do something with them and he got picked i'm like dang that's pretty good Dance with Mary. She's gorgeous. Oh my gosh, she's so gorgeous. So is Johnny, though. He is very, very handsome. Which reminds me, I need to go to Vegas soon. Uh, that I want to. I want to do the Chris Angel show in Vegas. Just got to meet him, and they're conversing now. I see. He wished her happy birthday on Instagram. That's pretty cool. And I want to see Carrot Top. I do want to see Carrot Top. I. Uh, Trisha and Jason and I were supposed to go. He was going to perform in Beverly Hills about a month ago when Coachella was going on. And he canceled the Friday night. We already had a ticket. So we were like front row. And he canceled. And I saw he went to Coachella instead. So we never saw him. But I mean, I, you know, we can see him in Vegas because we only live four hours away. It's a four hour drive, although now we fly. It's, you know, 45 minutes. For less than 100 bucks round trip, it, you can't beat that can't beat that so those are the kind of the things I want to do when I'm in Vegas again all right so we're gonna play it up here now I'm gonna show you it's almost getting there we got the edging is coming so see that did work that worked to get that just dumped in our garlic and olive oil let me get the plate where the magic happens. Oh, by the way, and I just saw these. These these are the hugest oops I've ever worn. And, of course, I found them. They were Tushas. But I thought I'd wear them. I like earrings, but, I, you know, I, I don't invest in them. And I got double piercings, too. And I should get something for those. But it sounds like I'm real, real busy. I guess I could do that when I go to Target. But, oh, that, ooh, look at this. This one looks really good, guys. This is our French bread one that we did. See how brown that's getting? Okay. Don't want to overdo it. I shouldn't shut that off. Okay. Once again, you know, I don't have the right utensils in front of me, but that should have a spatula, so hang on. Got it right here. That's good my kitchen is little because 
I could just reach for everything. All right, so let me get, let me see. Oh, that one's perfect. It's, and you know what? Hamburger buns are really soft, so that'll work. Let's just stack them all up. Probably not going to eat all that, but, you know. Okay, so turn your sauce off. Well, or you can let it simmer if you want while you're eating, if you want it to cook. But, but look, isn't that gorgeous? Just, here, let me, let me give you a, that's how thick I like mine. Just really like it. Okay, so now we're going to put our pasta on there. You know what? I'm just using my fingers. My hands are clean. And if not, they're, it's my dirt on my fingers, right? Oh, ho, ho. Go home. Bigger. Go home, guys. Right? Right. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. That. This is going to be like a feast. Okay. And since I like Parmesan, this is what I do. I put it on my pasta before I put my sauce on because the sauce is hot. It's going to melt it. It's going to be ooey gooey in there. Oh, my God. I need, I need a bigger plate. You know, I should be doing this up here. But, um... So this is how I just put it on like that. I'm going to move my sauce over a little bit. This is what I'm eating it with. I don't have a really big fork, and I want to get all of my sauce in there. So here we go. I, you know, I, I did have a bigger plate than this, a bigger white one. And I'm like, I couldn't find it. It's like that much bigger, right, all the way around. That would have been so cool. Okay, so all my burners are off, and I'm going to now just put on my sauce. Voila. I just scoop it out. Oh, my gosh. It's been a, it's been a while since I made my own. I'm not going to lie. Oh. And then you got your garlic bread to dip in. We are going to have a party. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, oh, and I don't want to lose a noodle, so you know, we gotta push them in. Push them in. And now, let's, let's put that like that. Mm. I didn't even know I was gonna have garlic bread today. I'm like, I don't have any. You usually get that, um, what's that, like a Texas toast it's already made in the freezer. I'm like, well, you know what? You gotta use up what you have at home, right? And then you can also use um, that. Parmesan and, and grate it, but I don't have a grater. I lost it in the move. Tush is used to that one out of a canister. Craft. Mm, I'm like, oh, I don't know. I like, I like the real stuff. Oh, lost the noodle. We are taking that with us. Okay. There. That should that should be enough. And if it's not, oh well. Okay, you guys. Let me wash my hands so I don't get it all over my utensil. Okay. <laughs> oh. Hey, you guys, we did a great job today. Let me get napkins. <laughs> but you wonder, why do I keep my napkins behind the fridge? Because I, I don't have a place for them right now. I need to, but I don't. Okay, so once again, we are starting our trek. We're going to eat back on the ottoman again. Because I, I need more room today. Ah, oh, let me, let us go take our meal, our little meal, for one, over here. Yeah, mm-hmm. That looks good. Oh, we can't see. We get out of the thing. And, okay. Better take my glasses. You never know when you need them. And... I think we got everything. Alrighty. We are off. Off to enjoy our meal. Whoa. Also, I know somebody goes, guys go, oh my goodness, we need to get a camera for Mama Got Back. You know, you guys, I have a camera. And probably one of the reasons I stopped doing videos videos because I don't, I don't want to edit. It's not that I'm lazy. It's just kind of hard for me. It takes too much time and um and oh I forgot I forgot my spoon I'm sorry you guys let me just back it up and okay I 
see it. I'll be right back. Hang on. Boop. Mm. Spoon, spoon. Okay. Yes, I do have my own camera. And I do appreciate the fact that you guys think I need one. But I, also, when I moved, I lost the cord, like, to upload it and to charge it. And, oh, yeah. You guys see all that? Perfect. There you go. Bon appetit. Oh, my gosh. I don't know what to eat first. Uh, the perfect bite would be in the middle with the cheese. I don't know if I got pasta on there, so I want to make sure I do. Oh, lipstick off. Here we go. It's probably hot. Oh, it's steaming. Mmm. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, so good. Mm. Oh my gosh, I'm I'm hitting it out of the park, you guys. This week, mm. wow, so good. Mm. I still need a little red wine with, but I don't have any. Let's try. I'm gonna try the bun first. See how our, our garlic bun turned out. Oh, so much better with my nails. I was probably grossing you guys out with my other ones. Oh, hey, it worked. I do taste the garlic. Huh. Oh. Well, now, you guys don't have to throw out old bread. In fact, if mine gets old, I freeze it because I want to take it to the duck or the ducks, the birds over there by the ocean. So that's what I do. That's why my freezer's packed full too. Let's try the. Mm. That's good too. Well, they're from Texas. Uh, mm. Good. Wow. Mm. Well, so what I got to do today, because I've got to pack a little, a little overnight bag for tomorrow when I get out of here, and I think I'll do it today because I want to get up, i got to shower, do my hair, and do cook with you guys. It's a little cookie tomorrow. It's not even cooking, but it's my, the meal that I love. Okay, let's get, oh, I love, you know, I love pasta. I'm really, really happy there's protein, more protein in it. Oh. it was, hopefully, I was wanting it to be a little more stringy. Oh, you know what? I could also add mozzarella. I've done that before, too. Mm. Mm. Put some more pasta on the plate. Mm. Mm hmm I love pasta. You know what I like? They used to have a spaghetti factory out here. Um, I don't and The one they had one in Hollywood, that one's been gone a long time, but they used to make the best butter, butter and cheese noodles, I think they were, or butter and oil, I can't remember. And they had the, the Parmesan mixed in. Oh, they were really, really, really good. You see why I don't use a fork? I would lose all this. But it, And if yours is juicier, you would lose all that juice on it, too. But mm. Really good, guys. So good. was going to make himself another cup of coffee, but I've already had two, so maybe later. I don't know. Does your nose drip, too, when you eat warm things? I, lo I love these bow tie noodles, actually. They are pretty pretty good. She said, Pioneer Woman says that they get in the little crevices of it, all the meats, flavors, and stuff. Oh, wow, that's really big. Okay. 
sorry, but I don't have, I play with my food. I like to play with my food. Because I enjoy my food. So I, I wanted to get some Parmesan on the top of that. Oh, there, there's no way I can get all that in my mouth. But, oh, there is a string right there. What you make the pasta for? Mm, sorry. Mm. That's very good. Mm. You know, I was watching the news again. Um, it was talking about, do you put one space or two spaces in between um, sentences when you type? I'm like... Is that what our news shows have come to? Aren't they supposed to be about helping us know what's an alert us of what's out there in our world and community? And they're worried about whether you should do one or two. Somebody said, "Well, you should, oh, we're brought up to do two, But somebody goes, "Well, when you're reading, you need to just uh, uh, do one space because your eyes fall more. And they don't hesitate." I'm like, "Who thinks of that stuff?" Uh, I don't know. Don't know. Mm. Well, that, that actually works better than the garlic powder or salt. I can taste the fresh is really fresh garlic comes out in this more. Mm. Well, I know I'm not going to be able to finish all this. Because when I start out, my eyes are always bigger than my stomach. So I'm like, oh man, I'm so famished. I haven't eaten since yesterday. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, see that? That's a Dooney and Burke. That's probably, how old is that? Maybe 20 years old? Maybe. Maybe 18. But I found that in Trisha's tub too. And I wanted to keep that. Because that was one of the first designer bags I bought them. Actually probably the only one I bought them. I don't even know how I could afford it then. But. You know, one two things for your children that they'll remember. Memories are good. So I probably did it for that reason. Because they wanted them too. But. Let's see, we weren't real, real poor growing up. Mmm, mm, these are really good. Mm. And one thing good that sauce does keep for a while. And you could even freeze the sauce, or freeze it in individual containers as you want it. That way, you know, you can make a big batch up and then freeze it. That's what I do sometimes. But now that I, I work out of my home, I have time to cook, and I like that. I to, that's why I have time to be with you guys now. I, I, need, I need at least three bow ties on my pasta. On my pasta, yeah. My pasta bite. Mmm. Wow, that's really good. Mm -hmm. One more bite. And then we'll get on to our posh. Mm. 
And Trisha told me that she went over to Jonah's family. You know, like David Dobrik's friend and Jason's. And I think they're a medium. Not for sure. Sorry. And, uh, they made, they brought out a birthday cake for Trisha. I thought that was really sweet. Because I don't even know if she knows him that well. But that was really neat. I saw a little bit in his Snapchat. That's why I knew they were over at Jonah's. And they, them, them people, they are spirit animals too. They know how to eat. They know how, what food, good food is. I like that. I do. I like that. Mm. Oh. Okay. I lied. Did I just say I'm going to have one more before I do my posh? Show you, but. Oh, boy. It's a mouthful. Very good mouthful. Mmm. Woo! One thing pasta is, is it is filling. Mmm. Very. I like that. Also, any of you who need a job, I saw one came up on my email. I follow Tara Casting because I'm down here in LA, but I used to uh, do like background audience work and stuff. And uh, that's not the best, but now, you know, they always post what other jobs they have, better jobs than that. And uh, one of them, and you might want to call them Tara Casting, C A R A. Is, are you in a serious relationship with um, an ex-family member that you dated? Or with an ex, ex's family, one of their members? Like it could be a sister, brother, or an aunt or uncle, or mother, father. It's like, and I love what they said. Um, or grandfather, I mean anything, if, you know, if you're dating that. And they, they said that um, they pay you very nicely per episode. So make it worth your while, but I love at the end too. They said no judgments, because if you see an eighteen-year-old going out with your uh, going out with her ex's eighty-year-old uh, grandfather, you know what people are going to do. They're going to judge, and it's like I love that they go no judgments. It's like I like that. Thanks, because you don't know. You don't know why, you know. Kind of like Anna Nicole when she married. What was that, Marsha Howard Marshall or something? You know, you don't know why, but. I like that. No judgments. Mm. That was the best bite. Okay. So, I'm going to show what I'm getting on Poshmark today or tomorrow. I'm not going to put too much on because i got lots to do today. got to pack up past, take it to, take it to the post office, come back, pack, wrap Trisha's presents. I've got to go pay my Target bill. I need to do that. Um, I know that doesn't sound like a lot to you, but, but it does. It takes up my time. But I found this. This is really cute. Let me wipe my hands off completely because... To get it on the clothes. This is from I saw it from Air Postal. And it says it's fifty-four dollars and fifty cents. It's really cute though. I, I'm like, but I when did Trisha have gone? I thought Air Postal is something we did, I thought, when we lived in the Midwest, but it's really, really cute. It's like a jumper. I don't know what you call them now, but it, it is a dress with spaghetti straps, then they are adjustable. Cute. You could wear like a, a white t-shirt underneath it. How cute. I would keep it for myself, but I'm going to let you guys have at it on the Poshmark. Here's something else I found. Oh, this is new too. Well, not new, but she never wore it. The Ragged Priest. Huh. It says Troublemaker. It's got long sleeves. Almost, almost got crap, but it probably just comes to your waist, depending on your size chest. I don't know if it has, I don't have a price on that one. And then another one I'm going to put up is Freak, Freaky. I think, maybe, I think she got this maybe for her Freak, Freaky, Freak to get Freaky. I love that song. That's my favorite song. And I love it when I see other people perform to her song. I'm like, that's really, 
That's really nice. Nice compliment. Okay, you guys. One more bite. And I've got to wind this up. Because if I sat her and ate all this, first of all, I wouldn't be able to get up. I'd have to roll on the floor to get up. And I would get nothing done. And you know why I know it's time also to be done with the pasta? I ran out of Parmesan. And I didn't bring any over. There's just a little bite there left. And I have to have a little on every bite. Mmm. Woo! Very good. Very, very good. I'm also going to save these because these are good to heat it up. I just put them in a... Well, you can heat them back up on the stove, on that pan again. Just put it down put it on low though oh <sighs> well that's how i make my spaghetti sauce and i i love i love the meat sauce of course use that are vegetarian are gonna put it in you could probably put beans in you, you know you could put kidney beans in this too i've done that before too but anyway it has been a pleasure as always i love you guys i love your comments i'm glad you're my new friends you make my day and um, do something good for yourself today. Until next time, cheers. I can't drink and look to turn this off.